Hey everyone, I'm Nathan with the ebookreader.com. For this video, we got a uh, look at the 13.3 inch Onyx Max 3. Uh, so I'm gonna be showing you how it works in the monitor mode here. So it's one of the few ink devices you can use as a secondary monitor. You got some different modes here you can switch between uh, to get a different look uh, with the text and the images. So uh, the way this works is you have to connect it to a uh, USB port here. We've got the USB-C on this device and you also got the uh, micro HDMI port. So um, and then it's got that 13.3 inch ink screen. Like I said, uh, it does not have a front light like the uh, smaller Note Pro. So, um, and it's got the flush screen now on this model. Uh, they got some upgraded hardware as well. They also upgraded the software to Android 9.0 on the Max 3. So we got some new stuff here. I'll cover that more in the main review. When using monitor mode, they suggest having it connected to a power source because it uses a lot more battery power. So I have it connected to an external battery. So obviously with ink, one of the main selling points is like the outdoor readability. So this is the look at it in direct sunlight. Uh, this is actually full brightness on the laptop and obviously it's much easier to read on the ink screen than it is on the LCD screen when you have a uh, bright light, sh light source shining on the screen. So the way it works on the Onyx Max 3 here is you start with your app drawer. Then once you have your HDMI connected, then you hit the monitor mode app. So obviously, uh, with ink, there are some definite limitations in the way stuff gets displayed here. So here's like the desktop background on my laptop. It looks super dark on the text mode and you can adjust the contrast down here. You can also adjust your refresh interval, but we switch over here to like the X mode. You can tell that the background, you can see it better now. So it has a big effect on the images just using like uh, whatever mode you're using here. So you got the text mode, speed mode and X mode. X mode is meant mostly just for like using videos and stuff. I'll show an example of a video playing later, but uh, this type of device is definitely best suited for basic tasks like text editing. Um, I know people like to use it for coding, stuff like that. Um, so like when you have uh, just a white background with a text on it, it looks a lot better. It just uh, suits the ink screen a lot more. Uh, when you have images, they can get a lot darker just with the contrast setting. So it just sort of depends on how you tweak it and set it up. But as far as text goes, it definitely looks a lot better when you're just using like a text-based application. When you're using full screen here, um, just uh, get rid of the dark you know, images and stuff like that. So like right here, you can see the image on the right is pretty dark. It just depends on like what contrast settings are you, you're using. So uh, you increase the contrast, it makes the text a lot easier to read, but it also makes the text or uh, makes images a lot darker. So uh, here is a quick sample of a video. So the problem with playing videos on YouTube is the whole the copyright issue. So uh, I just wanted to play one of my videos quickly just so you can get an idea, but it doesn't really have a whole lot of movement. So, uh, but you can tell that uh, it does work, but there's a lot of, um, it's just, you know, juddery because it's not giving you a full frame rate. But I mean, videos are playable on here, even though I have no idea why you'd want to watch videos on an ink device. Um, but it does work. It's really nothing, you know, that great, frankly. But um, ink has been able to do this for 10 years. So I don't really know what the draw of that is or whether even advertising is a feature. But um, X mode uh, for videos. So you got the text mode. Uh, it increases the contrast for text. So you get nice dark text. Uh, here's just an example of typing, uh, so you can kind of see in real time how the uh, the speed of the cursor and all that. So, I mean, when it comes to typing and stuff, it works pretty well. Uh, there is lag when you're using the like the uh, mouse. You have to just like get used to the lag. Um, but I mean, it is usable. There is a lot of ghosting, as you can see. Like, there's definitely a good amount of lines on the screen, and you can set the interval for when the page will refresh. Uh, the minimum time is one minute and you also got this button. It, you're probably wondering what this weird circular button is on the middle of the screen on the right there. That's a refresh button. You can manually refresh the screen whenever you want. You can hide that button if you don't want. So again, you got the different speed modes down here. X mode's the fastest, but it puts this like grid over the screen as you can kind of see here. It makes the, um, it just makes the screen look pretty crappy, quite frankly. It just has all this fuzz on it. Um, I don't know. I, don't, I really don't know what it's doing or why it uh, why it makes it so fuzzy like that. But I really don't like it at all. Even if I were to watch videos, I'd use speed mode because X mode just makes the screen look terrible. Um, but you know, you got these different options here. And you can configure things. You can also switch different orientations. Uh, let's go back to the default contrast. So this is what the default contrast levels were set at. Um, text mode is really high. It's up to like what 60. So yeah, images basically turn black with text mode, but um, the text definitely, you know, stands out better. Um, just sort of depends on how you want the setup to go or how you want it laid out. So like I said, it definitely works better when you're using 
uh, white background with black text. So here's like our different modes here. If you had text mode, you can't even see the images. Like if you had a black background, you can see them a little bit on speed mode. So I know some people like coding with like the uh, black background and white text, but with the ink screen, it really just isn't very well suited to it because of the uh, massive amount of ghosting. So the minimum refresh, like I said, is one minute. So you can manually refresh the screen if you want, but if you're using something like this, obviously it gets a ton of um, uh, background images. Uh, are constantly visible unless you refresh the screen. So it just sort of depends, like I said, um, how you're using the device, what your contrast settings are, what your main goals are. So um, it can be usable for text editing, like coding and stuff like that, even web browsing to an extent, though I think you're better off just using the regular web browser because you can scroll and interact with the screen. So one thing I haven't mentioned so far is you can't actually scroll, even though the Onyx Max 3 has a touch screen, you can't use it to interact with the, the you know, the screen at all, just to change the text modes. You can't use the scroll or anything like that. Um, so like, if you just go like that, it'll ask you to extra, exit monitor mode. You're like, no, I was just going to scroll, but um, no, you can't do it that way. So here's a, just a kind of a, a look at the web browsing on here. So, I mean, it's relatively quick, um, but you, you do have lag and you do have a lot of ghosting. So Again, it's just sort of what your expectations are with ink. Um, it's just sort of like the limitation with the technology. I mean, you can read it outdoors in bright sunlight. Um, it's not going to like fry your eyes if you're staring at it all day because, you know, it's just ink. It doesn't have any light source. But um, obviously, it's a lot slower to refresh. Uh, so it just has some different limitations. So again, text mode uh, on the default setting, it makes images very dark, but it makes the text stand out more. So I don't know, I kind of like using the um, speed mode the best just because it's kind of like the best balance between, uh, you know, getting clear text and still having the images, you know, um, clear enough that you can see them. Because right here you can't even see what that image is at all using the text mode. But if you switch over to a speed mode, oh, wow, that's a Kobo. That's easy to see now. So, I mean, overall, the uh, monitor mode does work well enough on the Max 3 to be useful for, like, text-based applications. Uh, just kind of depends on how you're going to use it and what your needs are. Obviously, uh, it's not going to be anywhere as smooth as using an LCD screen, so it just sort of depends on how you want to use the device. But the Song is the only other company that offers a 13.3-inch ink monitor, and it's a lot more expensive. It does look like the refreshing is a little bit faster and has less ghosting on their videos, but I have not reviewed one, so I cannot say for sure. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video right here. Go ahead and check out the ebookreader.com for the full review of the Max 3. I'll get that posted here uh, within the next day or two. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Have a nice day. Bye.